This video is brought to you by Premium Beat, an exclusive source of royalty-free tracks for your creative needs. Hey filmmaker Shongli here, in this video I'm going to show you how to fake a drone shot on a computer. So before we start the tutorial, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button here below. To make these shots, we need to download Google Earth Pro. In the description below, I have the link to this page. You just have to press agree and download Google Earth Pro. So once you have installed Google Earth Pro, we need to actually also use a recorder. Even though I am now using ScreenFlow, but ScreenFlow isn't that great for recording Google Earth because it will get very, very choppy images or choppy movements. So a screen recorder that I recommend is using QuickTime because it can actually record without getting too choppy shots and it won't drop frame that much. So to start a recording, we press here on file and then press new screen recording and also another great thing with the QuickTime recording you can also select a section of the screen you can here start and drag just a section of here so in post we don't have to crop as much so we don't have to crop all these things we see here on the side we have now switched over to the QuickTime player screen recording we're recording the screen fully right now and to move around the city, uh, you, we can drag around to move about. However, the thing is with screen recording on the QuickTime, it actually records also your mouse. So it's kind of not that good to do that. Also with arrow, you can also move around. However, the speeds are quite fast, so you don't get that nice slow movement. So to actually get that slow movement, we are using these controllers here. So by just dragging this, we can actually get like a pretty nice slow movement. And I'd go faster and slow down. So just slight movements, we can keep this as slow, like a nice slow pace. But also we have also a lot of controls on the keyboard, like when we hit control and we can drag to zoom in and out. And we also have shift to shift the angle here. So one thing also you need to look out is sometimes the terrain is when you have it too wide, you have like really weird terrains like here on top also when you have like a very wide shot having these mountains or a lot of things far away visible is not that pleasing so it's better actually to have like the city quite close up and but also not too close up because you will then also have like the issue that the textures of the buildings won't be that good looking Another thing we need to sh really turn off here is this button. This is show sunlight across the landscape because having this turned on, we get actually real sunlight and we have like really a lot of really dark shadows. So we can't actually change the settings of these shadows and these shadows are far too harsh. I'd rather just leave them off and have more it look more natural with the actual shadow that they have captured. So a few nice views to use is actually like a nice top-down shot. And make sure all things are aligned and straight. And use this to go up or down. So this is like a nice drone shot flying above the city. And also we can use this to actually pan and tilt. Personally, pan and tilt aren't really yeah, that good looking or it doesn't look that special. And I think it's better just to use this to moving the camera left and right. At least it looks more like the drone is flying in the air. 
you can't really do too much crazy camera movements here just flying left and right for me personally is like probably the only thing that is really useful here I don't feel like you can rotate well flying left and right that easily so now we have the recorded video it recorded the entire screen and to export it from QuickTime we just go here and instead of doing this export because here we don't have any choice of like getting the higher resolutions the best way to export personally for me because I'm using iMac 5k now is just to save it and it will actually export the high resolution, the full 5K screen instead of uh, being a 1080p and also give me much more to play with in the edit. So looking back at the actual recording, what I did uh, teaching you how to use it, it wasn't really smooth, it was quite choppy, but it was also uh, shot at like a different frame rate than uh, normally because it might be because I shot or screen recorded my entire screen instead of just a section but also I had like several other programs running in the background of course like Premiere Pro and might have been making it heavier for QuickTime to do a more proper screen recording this is a screen recording that I did before which I actually uh, had like cropped in the screen instead of recording the entire screen which has a much better FPS and also it's pretty big because it's like a 3k video but when we look at this we can see that it's much smoother in its movement so I think probably it's better to not do a full screen recording but do a recording that's only like partial of your screen so I hope you guys find this video quite educational if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys the next time bye bye this video is brought to you by premium beat an exclusive source of royalty-free tracks for your creative needs.